This is how we built our own backyard crash dice track, part one. So first we planned out where the track was going to run down, and after virtually no discussion, somehow decided that gapping the two stone walls into a massive kicker on the lake would be ideal, and that we could always just add more features on the lake later on if we wanted to. So after a couple hours of shoveling and packing down snow, this is what our jump over the stone walls looked like, and then we started building up and shaping the ramp and big jump at the bottom of the hill. This was by far the worst part of the afternoon, the whole top layer of the lake had thawed out, so we were just walking around in half a foot of water for three hours. But it meant that by the end of the day when the temperature dropped things started to freeze up really nicely. We decided to pack it down even more though just to make sure that once we got some water on there the ice would be as solid as possible. We finished off the day by doing a couple runs on our skis just to make sure that the jumps and the landings were shaped properly and we ended up getting some sweet ponds giving action out of it too. Next up was to start flooding, like and follow for part 2. 